audio jungle. The work of Sobro is more essential than ever before. I'm pleased to introduce our first panel, Socioeconomic Inequalities and its Impact on Our Youth. This session will be focused on our community's youth and the impact of the global health pandemic, including the anticipated loss of educational attainment, limited socialization, and the inadequate resources for remote learning. We will also touch upon racial inequities existing in the educational system, how our youth are underserved, and what we can do as advocates to support the educational and vocational needs of our children. I feel like it's hard for me to, you know, have to get my learning done because I'm not really able to get the much support I need during, like in school and stuff, because when I'm in school, I get more help than I need than doing virtually, and I don't want to do virtually anymore. Thank you, Shyla, for that wonderful testimony. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for joining the call. When the pandemic hit in March, uh, the previous known social inequities and gaps became very visible to all of us. Uh, the pandemic confirmed we live in two worlds. When we layer in what our Black, Latinx, low-income students are experiencing on top of their LGBTQ identity, many of them are missing their safe spaces that school might have provided. School might have been the only place that they felt safe. We need to find creative ways, and I will note that many of our community-based providers, including Madison Square Boys and Girls Club and Sobro, have been absolutely creative in how to pivot to a brand new way of delivering service to young people, which has been truly amazing. The amount of need should match the amount of resources, and we need to call on our government to make those types of choices. 